And here's the video you guys are going to finally cancel me for. So I'm wearing something bright and colorful and cheerful. When you do, hello everyone, I am Mecca. Mecca Random 42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. There is a, there is a leaked document floating around from Disney. From the Disney. Oh, you, you know it, you love it, you see it. Oh, and don't let the cheery appearance, apparel, disposition fool you. I am still the Queen Harpy. Still gonna rail on this in, in a way that no matter what I say, I'm going to get some sort of backlash, some sort of ringing, crying masses. You know what are those people who are very vocal and very controlling and very authoritative in, in what they want you to be allowed to say, right? They want to have complete control over everything you do, say, think. Hmm, hmm, what does that sound like to you? I don't know what that sounds like to me. But we've had leaked documents now from Disney. Hail Satan! Well, now they have more of their, they're, they're just racist history pouring forth in this new race cult, in my opinion, that is spewing and, and infesting and leaking into everything. Now, to the best of my understanding, this new quote-unquote critical race theory cult that is popping up is based upon Robin D'Angelo's book. Now, this woman is an admitted white supremacist who feels uncomfortable around, around black people. Am I getting this correct? To the best of my knowledge, she says she feels uncomfortable around minorities and she needs to come to terms with her own superiority. So why is this infesting these, these companies? And what am I talking about? Well, this leaked document. Disney is playing with fire. The premise of the company has always been to provide an escape for middle Americans. But Disney's executives seem to have a growing contempt for the very people who visit their parks, watch their films, and buy their merchandise. Of course they do. Of course they do. We have been conditioned to, to keep grabbing for that cupcake. Ow. 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 Because it used to be good in the past. Even though every time we've grabbed for it since, it's been hooked up to electricity. And you know what? We're stopping. A lot of us have stopped. A lot of us, the last Jedi, was enough of a jolt and a shock to say, Oh, they don't want us. This is poison. They are going to just yell at us, label us toxic. And we're just walking in and grabbing for that electrocuted cupcake. That's all this is. They have contempt for the viewers. They also have contempt for their own employees. Now, let's get into this art. Oh, this is a goodie. This is a goodie. Newsweek. <laughs> real, real live news is actually reporting news. Actually reporting news about this. Disney Corp asks employees to complete a white privilege checklist. Please tell me this is voluntary. Please tell me anytime you're trying to bring in some sort of religious indoctrination. Because that's what this is. This is something that... These people believe that people of certain ethnicities have to feel and vote certain ways and the second you show them like, let's say, a black conservative, quote unquote, for example, they re-scream and yell slurs at them. Alright, this is not a well-stable, normal thing. This is not something that is designed to elevate people. I've read through this. This is something designed to take people and shame them, embarrass them, out them make them feel guilty just for being born. This sounds like a religion, confess your sins. Can we start treating this like a religion already? I've already been calling this out as wokier than thou zealotry, people who can never be satisfied with anything. At least if you go to church, you can go and confess your fucking sins against something. You can't with this. How is this going to help and solve and fix? What's the end goal? What's your solution here, people? We don't know. There is no end goal in sight. This is just designed to break and break down and bum out and weaken people by, by making them give up, by making them submit. This is why they've been tearing down our heroes for the past, what, 40 years now? So, as long as I've been alive, it feels like. Any, anytime you have a male role model on screen, what do they have to do lately? Oh, oh, they just break them in half. 
They break his spirit. They have him apologizing for being born. They have every character talking down to them. From Patrick Stewart and Picard, to Luke Crapping Skywalker, to Captain America, to Iron, to every freaking character lately. That's what we're at. This is where we're at. They are mad at you and, and they want you to repent your sins of, of what? Of what? Racism? Racism? If you can show me one person on this planet who hasn't done something that the wokier than thou's are going to be upset by, I can't, I, I don't know what to tell you. This is, this is one of those things where in these religious sort of documents, the real ones, you know, the ones that are actually recognized as religions, you, you have to have, have this separated out of your stuff. You have to have it separated out of your government, out of your schools. Church and state are supposed to be separate for a reason. And now they're bringing this into every single employment. So we saw the same crap with Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola says employees should be less white. I'm, I'm, I'm unable to. I'm unable to. I already get, get called a vampire on my videos. That's why we're wearing something non-black today. So people don't go... Rrr, 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 rrr. They're going to anyway. Disney's been so afraid of me. Then letting bots spam my channel for years. Or sending them for all we know. I don't know. Leaked documents from the Walt Disney Company asks employees to complete a white privilege checklist and pivot away from white dominant culture. H how? How, pray tell? And what is white dominant culture specifically supposed to be? Because I, I, from my best understanding with these things, they took something called systemic racism that was really, really designed and in place about these systemic wealth issues where things were designed for the wealthy, privileged elites who in the past used to be mostly white or all entirely... I mean, I mean, if you, if you look at all these shows that are rewriting history, who cares, right? So they took all this and decided to, to stereotype that only people of one certain ethnicity and shade are, are underprivileged. Only people of one certain group are upper privileged. And I think they're mistaking these wealth and inequality issues and, and trying to stereotype and generalize based on the works and the preachings of somebody who says that they hate people based on the color of their skin and are uncomfortable in a room with them and they feel superior based on theirs. That's disgusting. You would look at somebody who tells you they're a supremacist and you would shun them. And you would... Why are we rewarding these people? Why are we? The statements appear in a company document entitled Reimagine Tomorrow, Where We All Belong. I... Um, that's not inspirational. That's not... That sounds threatening. Why can't you say where we can aspire to be? How we can improve? How we can... Come to oh no, they don't want to come together anywhere. Where we all belong. Know your place. Stay in your lane. Drop the taco. Get in the car. This document is an anti-racist document guide that teaches allyship for race consciousness. According to documents published by Friday on Twitter by writer Christopher F. Rufo. Documents also cover such topics as white privilege and white fragility, white saviors, microaggressions, and anti-racism. Rufo wrote. Well, anti-racism is just a form of racism that tells you if you get defensive, you're, you're having white fragility. You're not allowed to be defensive when people attack you. You're not allowed to question. You're not allowed to speak. You're not allowed to talk about things. You're not allowed to ask what you're supposed to do. Give me a set of instructions on what I'm supposed to do to fix this. If you have no solution on how I'm supposed to, I don't know, fix these issues without imposing on my own rights and, and protections, protections as a person of a gender that really is none of your business and a orientation that's nobody's business and a, a ethnicity that's really nobody's business. So here we are, here we are. All of these things are not only illegal for, for these companies to ask. We'll get into it. Employees are discouraged from questioning or debating the lived experiences of their black colleagues. Or asking those colleagues to educate them. So, so you can't... So you have to sit there and be lectured on these things are bad, bad, bad. But you can't, you're not allowed to have any sort of discussion and say, Hey, 
Are you, because of why would somebody say, hey, I'm fine, and they don't want you to know? Is that why they want to silence? See, this is why I say this is actually racist. They're trying to silence black voices by not letting them speak. They're just asking, and they're acting like this is all, all in an agreed upon thing. And I can tell you firsthand as somebody in the LGBTQ plus LMNOP community, it is not an agreed upon anything. There is no homogenous stuff. You have the outrage mob on Twitter who believe one thing. And then you have like 75% of the LGBTQ plus people out there who believe, you know, what they want to believe that is varying degrees of, you know, everything. And I am under the assumption based on the comment section from viewers who have told me they identify as whatever they want to identify or, or are. And, and I hate having to label that, but they say, yes, we all think and feel different things. So this is actually silencing black voices by doing this. It should be illegal. The document ends with a 12-day challenge for employees to reflect on the effects of being raised in a society that elevates white culture over others. Does it? Does it? What is quote-unquote white culture? <laughs> so let's take something like sports ball, for example. <laughs> What about in the music industry? Oh, you can't do that. You can't question. You can't ask. All right. So what am I supposed to do about it? What am I supposed to say about it? Am I not allowed to? So this is one of those questions that will, will never be allowed to be asked. So why are we even bringing this up in the first place? If there's no solution, there's no suggestion on how you can fix and improve these things. What is this? This is just to what? Make your, make your employees feel bad for the way they were born? Some of the statements in the checklist include, I have never been told I sound white. I have never been called, I don't, I don't want to know this. I'm always comfortable showing affectionate to my partner in public. I have never been, I'm not even going to read that word. I don't rely on public transportation. I can't afford a therapist. You're not really allowed to... See, this is just outing somebody. Disney sponsored a creation of a 21-day racial and equity socially just, social justice challenge. You can't ask me these things. If you're a woman, what if you have been, you know, what if you have had some of these horrible things happen to you and they're bringing up something that is not okay for you to talk to, you know, some random fucking employer about? I think Disney should be sued into oblivion for this because they're doing a whole lot of illegal and unethical things. The next participant asks to complete a white privilege checklist. Quote, I am white. I am heterosexual. I am a man. I still identify as a gender as more. None of your business. This is none of anybody's business at all. You're not allowed to ask me these things. No, 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 no. Because that is, that is going against my civil rights as a human being who might want to transition who might be going through a lot on the inside emotionally. That has nothing to do with my job. You're supposed to leave your personal life at home, right? Leave your problems at the door. You're at work now. You're a Disney employee. You're there to be happy and entertaining people. I cannot be happy if you're telling me how horrible I am and trying to, and trying to bring up all these past traumas. What is wrong with you, Disney? Another section of the document asks participants what they can do to pivot from white dominant culture to something different. Um, could, could you identify what white dominant culture is to me? I mean, are we all going around reciting Shakespeare sonnets or something? Is that what, what is, what is white dominant culture? Do, are we, do we have mullets and, and we're dancing badly at, at weddings and 1980s America's Funniest Home Videos videos? Because <coughs> now you're stereotyping. I was told that people of all walks of life participate in all sorts of things because, you know, to just assume something about somebody would be racist, now wouldn't it? <laughs> Some features of white dominant culture, according to this document, include seeing things either absolutely racist or not racist. That's what they're doing, though. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Because when I say, well, what, what about... You question the words of the mighty Jimmy? Well, I can't question that. I can't point out that there's, you know, oh, well, you just don't understand what that means. All right, well, so I'm not allowed to question it. But then again, treating everything as, as absolute, you're, you're actually teaching everything as absolute. Treating input from non-senior work leaders as a threat. Overly focusing on individual uh, individualism and fearing open conflict. Ladies. 
this is a cult. You want everybody to think and behave as, as their stereotype. This is sick. This is disgusting. What is wrong with these people? The different alternatives to all the above include holding contradictory thoughts, feelings, collaborating with stakeholders on all levels, working on community collaborations and learning how to take, take direct constructive feedback. But you're not allowed to ask for feedback. So, so who? The cult leader gives us con constructive feedback? What's he going to tell us to do? If you want to speed down the highway, I guess. Is that where we're at? Disney, I am disgusted by this article. I'm disgusted by Disney. And one day, the mouse will go down. I am Mecha Random 42. And I will be laughing when Disney gets theirs. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye!